Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. I'm Jackie Mater. I'm an education reporter at the Heckinger Report. I mostly focus on early childhood education. My name is Mariah Capio, and I'm the Vice President for the Early Childhood Programs at Children's Aid. When you walk into a preschool classroom, you want to see that it's set up generally into very clear centers. You might see in a classroom there's an art station, dramatic play area, What's this little kitchen area, science area where kids grow plants and play with water, a reading corner where kids can go to read. Parents should look for a lot of variety. You want a lot of different manipulatives and art supplies, a lot of books and a lot of language building activities. You want to see the kids can read about different cultures. They see themselves reflected in the books. Puppets also with different races and ethnicities. That's a really good sign of a high quality preschool. We call them cozy corners. You know, we have a lot of emotions when we're three and four. So if there's a beanbag chair in the corner, just some place you can sit and kind of have a quiet moment, um, that's important at this age. A parent may walk into a classroom and see, oh, it looks like kids are just dancing around. But that teacher was actually working with the students on how to follow rules, how to follow directions. I am special. I am in a high quality preschool, you will also see teaching kids a lot about themselves, a lot about identifying their own emotions. You have to share, okay, so everybody can see. The teacher is the ultimate model, so you should see the way a teacher is speaking to children is also the way they encourage students to talk to each other. You want teachers that get down with the kids and snuggle up. Thank you. Sit on the rug or sit at the table. You should not see that children are being punished, um, especially through exclusion. If a child doesn't feel comfortable or doesn't feel safe, they won't be able to learn. In a high quality preschool, a kid will learn academic skills like letters, numbers, holding a pencil. Bum, bum. And you wanna ask the teachers and the staff how do you teach you know, science and math and English? What are those things? You're gonna to wanna to look for themes that incorporate all different, almost subject areas. You want them to have a chance to really pick out something they're interested in and, and learn more about that. I wanna show you something really important that this early childhood classroom is doing. So this is called play planning. So the students will copy their name down. It's okay if they misspell it or they don't form the letters correctly, it's all part of learning. And at the bottom, they wrote about their plan for the day. And then they'll draw a picture of themselves doing whatever it is they may want to do that day. And that teaches them at a young age that, you know, I have a purpose for my day and this is kind of the plan I'm going to stick to. Look around at the walls. The walls of a high quality preschool classroom should have student artwork. You want to see the kids' signatures all over the room, whether it's their art or whether um, it's props that they've made in the classroom. You want to make sure that their, their work is, is on display. If I walk into a classroom and all the kids run over to give you a hug, that's not always the best sign because like they're looking for outside stimulus. I mean, it's so great. These kids are able to play on their own without an adult. Children have built the focusing skills where they can just run off and be totally productive with their friend is just so exciting and is going to make them be that much more successful when they get into elementary school. You want to look around and, and generally see, is the furniture secured? Are outlets covered? There's no exits where kids can get out undetected. Make sure that you can see all areas of the classroom. You know, bookshelves shouldn't be too high because you wouldn't want kids hiding behind one or you wouldn't want the teacher's line of sight to be blocked. Ask about first aid plans, fire safety. Here's a tip. Under this sink, you may expect to see chemicals, but instead, it's just finger paint. So it's nothing dangerous that a child can get into. And also generally see that there's enough staff in the room to watch all the children making sure even if kids do get into something, there's generally a staff member who's watching and aware of what kids are doing.
All of this matters because research shows that a high quality early childhood education really makes a difference on kids. You want to make sure kids are safe. You want to make sure the room is conducive to learning. Good job. You want to make sure teachers are high quality and know how to teach kids and interact with kids. You want to make sure that there is the social emotional aspect. And you really just want to make sure kids are in a place where they are learning and they're having a lot of opportunities to try different things.